come that country will gain what it has been losing for the past two decades. And that will happen certainly without an iota of doubt in that. Oh, you're giving a lot of step down. She can talk. The dictator president must step down. This is the latest issue. Anyone can talk. So basically, yeah, we just met with the ambassador. And I think it was a pretty good meeting actually. She was quite welcoming. She apologised that all of us couldn't go in because the office is really quite tiny. It is a temporal place because they planned to move back to the previous one. Um, basically, she acknowledges. She acknowledges her concerns, um, and they've accepted the petition that has been handed over. Um, obviously, we all know that she did write to our councillors to get to the call for Jan to step down. Um, she acknowledged that she's continuing to engage Jan and will continue to do so. They continue to work in the background for all Gambians. They, sh they really share concerns, is the, is the simple way to put it, that all of us do not want political intervention. We mm. want Jan to step down. We want him to respect the will of the people and step down peacefully. Um, and I'm really assured that they share that view and she was quite encouraged by the approach we've taken. Um, I think one of the feedback she wants us to pass on is that there's a lot of Gambians in, in the UK who are not registered, me being one of them, with the embassy um, and that it makes it quite hard for them to sort of engage us because you know if you're not registered then really you're not on the books, you don't exist. Um, they really encourage people to register with them and engage with them. They are available. After, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> they are available for people to meet with them and speak to them and share their concerns. And, and to be honest with you, if I didn't feel that was genuine, I would say that. Mm. I did feel it was quite genuine. I did feel that she is um, willing to engage with mm -hmm. people. And she, all she asked that people do that in a respectful way. Like, you know, give them notice and sit down and have a chat with them. Or if you're ringing up, have a respectful conversation and I, and I suppose I support that message yeah. really. Yeah. It's a very positive uh, meeting um, and then the other thing was what I said, you know, we couldn't have positively engaged with them over the past 22 years because of <laughs> events back home. Um, but then that's no excuse, we are in the United Kingdom, they represent us here, if we have any issues, we can touch with them, but let's try to register with the Embassy. <laughs> so make sure we are on their books. We sound like sellouts. If they have <laughs> if we're not sellouts. We are not. We are just telling you. We are not. Like you're selling oh, wait, we, we are not selling the embassy to you. But the positive but thing is, today you. they've had our message. Mm -hmm. They've had our message oh, today. Yeah. We've written to them. But the only thing is, we didn't put our addresses. Wow. But she will definitely forward our letter. Okay. And sorry, sorry, okay. we left them our addresses and our, our names. If we have any updates, I'm sure they will get back to us. We're not selling the embassy to you. <laughs> you sound like you are. You've been converted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> that's no, in the arena where we are. Uh, the ambassador, together with other We know her side, where she stands, she's made that clear and nobody told her to do that. Um, she's in the peace and stability of the Gambia, that's all she wants. You know, she's sitting here, any government can come in and she's still here on recall and given a different assignment. Uh, that's the situation. I'm sorry if you feel that I'm sold out. <laughs> <laughs> I can promise you, you for so this is what democracy you. looks we like. We didn't even give in for so long. We were not even yeah. given to I promise you. We're not yeah. allowed. Yeah. Oh, not a very tiny place. Oh, yeah. Not a tiny place. You know, even police have to understand. Oh, wow. Okay. Lamin yeah. Yame. No, so she, I did yeah. feel, I did feel she had quite a genuine and, take pictures, huh? so what's and now? reasonable message. And I, I thought it was, mm. it, it, it felt okay. like a, um, a reasonable conversation but, but where she shares our concerns mm. and all of the concerns we have she shares with us. I think the only other concern she had is people ringing up and, and, and sort of being insulted. Who say the same thing, see, 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 going through? 
Yes, I'm not, I'm not posting Yeah, I, I don't, don't think that is, a, that is a good idea at all. I think it's not mature. Really, it's about yeah. engaging people that are close to Jamie. I personally think that's yeah. the only way we yeah. can now make a difference. Yeah. Yeah. If people engage in individuals that are close to Jamie, have links with Jamie, because yeah. all day time, it's the matter. I said to Jai Saidi, the ministers that work with him, they are ambassadors, they keep talking to Jamie yeah. and tell him that the Jamie is bigger than him. Yeah. The country is bigger than him. Yeah. He owes this to all of us, yeah. his kids, his mother, to, to generations, Gambian generations that are yet to be born. Yeah, yeah, owes it to all of us to step down peacefully. peacefully yeah. We cannot see the Gambia go into war. Yeah. I know if that's what it takes for him to go, yes. fine. I will support it. I know everyone here will support it. Yeah. But we really want that to be avoided. Yeah. So, you know, I think that's the way forward. We really. ask people to stop the insults and yeah, just to engage. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, right. the reconciliation is something worth talking about now because there's a lot of people talking about reconciliation. Yeah. And um, of course, a lot of people are still currently in bondage. Um, it would have been so much easier for reconciliation to happen had Yaya just allowed the start of releasing innocent Gambians, which started with Hussein Udabo mm -hmm. and many others, so that. Reconciliation will be fast track, but we all know, <laughs> see the predicament that we're in. There is no true reconciliation without truth first. Yeah, that, that's that's the draw. And it's the, up to the victims for them to forgive individuals or for them to forgive as they as in the certainly even the coalition does not have monopoly to give amnesty to Yaya Khan. That's something I'll have to reiterate. So certainly it's good for us to forgive, move on. I wish everybody had a forgiven heart. They could just forgive and then move on. But, but pe pe people, 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 don't, exactly. people don't want you to talk about reconciliation. You don't have to talk about reconciliation. You have to talk about truth and reconciliation. You. you must have to be found guilty of a certain crime before you can be given an amnesty or before any negotiation of reconciliation because I, I'm, 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 you know, even this morning I've been watching Unicide and others, you know, complaining bitterly for Gambians who go about talking about reconciliation. Obviously, we have to establish the truth first before we talk about reconciliation. Yaya initially, if he stick to his initial conceding of you know, I'm, 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 I'm defeat could have ease of situations rather than what he is doing right now. Because right now, I as an individual, I am very cross about that man. I am very much angry about him. Initially, would have been a lesser anger, you know, more easy for people to come into terms and see what they can do. But right now, it's like he's putting Gambian into trauma day in, day out. Yeah, indeed, indeed. You understand? Every day is a nightmare for us. Yes, Even yes. though I have the belief, you have the belief that Yaya will have to go. In, it's a matter of most. Yeah. He can be at that place. He lose, you know, I'm, 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 I'm hopes of Gambians. Nobody respect him. Indeed. Everybody dislike that man right now at the moment. Nobody likes him. There is no confidence, you know, that people have in him because he is a liar. You understand? He lose respect, you know, from everybody. But then, we want him to go peacefully. We can't see that country, you know, into any chaos. But obviously, he will go. This is a matter of must. You understand? How soon, we might not know. But obviously, come the 19th of, of, of January, this man will, 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 will have to leave. Gambians are ready. We so some, we are ready. We wanna, yeah. Let's do some local language, different local languages, local languages so that people um, have an idea. Well, yeah. Musa, come this way, so to speak. Musa is going to speak in Tula. Yeah. <laughs> and Lamin is getting ready to speak in Jola. I think he's a better Jola speaker. You know, Jola's a <laughs> on, 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 the day, on the day of the elections, on the day of elections, Yaya Jano was interviewed by BBC Umaru Kofan, and he was asking, and you know, and Yaya was a you win, you forgive and allow amnesty.
Majesty. He, he said no. He said no. 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 That was the yeah. day he of said the elections. Yeah. Okay. So those who are talking about reconciliation, okay. please remember. We have another brother who is coming to speak in the local language. So this one is to my flower families. So listen, the brother is going to come and speak in the local the audience watching. That's our man, our young brother, Musa Kubali. Why not? She's 1999. Um, Gambia, London, London, Gary Dohan, the Gambian embassy, though, London, Margo, Lebdugal, uh, Ambassador, um, Elizabeth, um, Migol, yeah, Jamme, Min Tori Mama, Min Luki, Min Tampi. Galdo Mingari, that you live in Please, <laughs> Please, jipo e jam, jara e jam. Sanani o video, mawa la goto holi mawa video, kato nji da adum. Please, minam gambia mwumba ilin londom. Min kewa ni kono, jipo e jam si online in adum. Please. Jame jipo. 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 Thank you. Jame jipo. Jame jipo. Jame jipo. Jame jipo. Jame jipo. You want to be Jola come with Langa Majola? Our brother has to go, so he's going to see the Amno Manica counter. Come to Bapo Manica counter. Put okay, Bamanica counter. Any language? Any language? Any language? Sorry? I'm not sure what you're doing. I'm not sure what you're doing. I'm not sure what you're I'm here, you know, um, with the rest of, you know, people from the diaspora. Yeah. Yeah. From London, uh, Manchester. Oh, okay. And, you know, we're here to, you know, add our voices to everybody else all around the world, asking the Ajami to step down. He has lost the election. He's going. He has to step down. And that's all we're asking for. Obviously, nobody wants any conflict in the government. So we're asking him to step down. We're asking people from all around the world to put pressure on Jamia, let him step down. That's the message. Step down now. 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 Not them, not them, not them, not them, not them. Okay, in Ken Sarahule, in Sarahule, in Sarahule. Yo, Maru Moa Asfunyini, Gambiyangu Birunga Londe, Punya Lira, Nengi, Gambiya Ambaskiri Vera, Pune. Kera Magaen Bego Maa Gambiya, Gambiya Arimu Suwa Kipi Mule, Nadi Duna Suwa Kipi Mule. So, Kera Uro Duro Benya Meka, Asa Wasa Kipi Mule, Gambiya Kheri Bega Nengi, Kheri Bega Nengi, Kheri Bega Nengi, Thank you.
Do we have another, any other a different language? Maniko? Okay. Yeah, I'm in Tosu. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm fine. Gambian Embassy, um, London. Natale, Namol Dunta Embassy, Ambassador, Naladu Kula, Tia Mosolo, Yemeniti Dandan Kacha, Solo Membe, Sundin Komiya, Yamela, Gambian Olu, Tata Election Otto, Yinkaro Tilifolo. Aduya jamena tana election onyin ayalu. So ndela na dalilo momenti jang komi ya jamen lafta laiji. Adu lafta akana ke jio damata laiji anin kairo kono. Ba o sangi muang ya jamening ndela bita election ola teleka nyeta o sangi muang beko. Ada be sembo to sangi muang anin fula. Sai election nani lewin sangi muang kontoto yung problem si fan na naman soto for Gambia nuli be tempo mento sai mo be be kija farari mo be be maslandi ni nako setano kana soto na bankoka kadi nukungu ni sangi muang ni mfulo tuonyendir la te Gambia fitinan tunti je ya jamelong Gambia fitinan tunti. Atele mo tonya ndir lati, atele ka molu lipa, atele ka molu soron, atele ka gambia nolu uda indi, atele ke fafana. Oto ni kuome mbeo nyama gambia nolu kafute nata, ala e juso dila, e kambenta, foye ya jame ya bondi karte kesola, oto ya jame nyum kumakangu bite ya, ani mo dantangu li melbe, e kartandangu la, ibe bampuri koma fana, ibe esi, Ifasa kang fani ya kang anin tilimbalia. Mbe nyimfola le watu wa sita watu wa meya lungo gambia nolu ya itanda la imala fala. So laftaye banko nying ya murundi. Nying karo menkana tiltani nsayo lua ya dile yese mbo soto fojani watu motema. Watu mbe nyi itandi lela gambia munte letati gambia nolu. Mo jamaa kumata, o jamaa ya la lafo itandi opo e e e kole yeso ni patile. So lafta, ye gambia, ye gambia jibe, ye gambia diungu jibe. Ni ayata reta kwa imu mwole tume ya lanko kairo damai ite ka wole balundi. Ite na atale ka gambia bondi kole ya kono. Hani ya atara nitele nga lanko yela umufani ya jitonya ata kono. Bari mbafo le saa kwe tema le bawa ifanga ya jele, ye tama nsero li jele, ye kumaka ngungo ile. Ia hanya madu mulai fana alman kudoja. Kau tanya jam membenyum fole ko Gambia, laftale bankoning, ya say mansa kunda kuto mema, mansa kunda kuto mema, mansa kunda mansa mansa kunda kuto me yalo, wole ganja tanya election auto, aning Cairo kono, ntel la la foto nyinti hanya Gambia nding kiliye, ngoroto soto nying 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 sayo kono, sokoran to Gambia nding bebono la nioto. Watu kuomemba onyama, anibi bedandar la lo kile kai tandi la, gambia dungu luko yebangu sai, anin kairo kono, fu kairo menga long, mfuta kairo mfana la sangu mwani lulo kono fu kairo, wasimuru na gambia banko kang, na badi ya meliye tinya, iswa badi ya choki ngana sinyo ya choki, banko. Mfuata kairo mena, nga kairo nying, nga pare kadoku. Fonsi muru wa kairo kono no. Nina muna kumoti. Adumbedi ya muka ngambia di ngultoya ala meli bijang. Ani meli ya lonko iti jang. Ibedula alto bari yela lafi bari ya etandila. Na kumomu welti wato ya ya isiji. Isiji ya ya isiji isiji. IG, 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 IG. Ya ya IG, IG, IG.
Yaya G, Yaya G, Yaya G. Wala mo na kumot wa sala. Now we have Jola. You can chant Yaya Walo. Yaya Walo. Yaya Walo. Yaya Walo. Yaya Walo. Musa, thank you. Yaya Walo. 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 Flex, what language are we going to hear from you now? English, English. Okay, I wrote a message. Flex, Dan. Thank you. This is Flex, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Protester, he's, he's always organized and wanting all the order. Hopefully, this is the last protest <laughs> we do. Hopefully. And yeah, there are many steps down. Absolutely. This is our dream. We don't want to keep protesting forever. No. We want Gambia to move on. Absolutely. But I have a message to the youth. A message to the youth, especially those in Gambia. And the message in a few lines is, go and take it. Go and take it. Um, first of all, self-professed. Tell me, you go and take it, take what? That's where, that's where, uh, okay. that's where I'm coming. Suspense. It's very, very suspense. Suspense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm keeping you. I'm keeping you. It's working already. <laughs> Self-professed Pan-African leader, Yahya Jame, came into power via a coup when he was only 28 years old. A young man. His corrupted version of revolution is at complete odds with his predecessor, Africa's Che Guevara, Thomas Sankara who he tried to copy and fail woefully. Many believe his false promises. We believe the Ayajami. He will change things. But this all twisted into it, the cruel worst years of our country's history. Because of this, I'm compelled to sound out a warning that despotic youth leadership is actually what got us here today. Young people, powerful young people, turned the Gambia into what it is now. Yaya Jami was a youth of 20 years, 8 years of age. But the main message is, as long as we allow despotic leaders to drive us forward, we will always feel, put the flag down, <laughs> flag the Bible now, see correct, We'll always feel the shackles of their chains on our wrists and the gravels and stones at the bottom of the Mediterranean Ocean, which too many young people have felt. But despite the challenges, Gambian youths, you did it. Despite the unimaginable terror of the Baku, illegal migration, state sponsored terrorism, kidnappings, and the government exploiting your businesses, you did it. You were exiled from your country, yet you continued to fight with your pen. You fought with your voice. You fought with your music. This is what brought down the dictatorship. Some of our heroes were killed in April 2000, and again in 2016. Still, you kept on fighting. The freedom baby, baby Aisha, and her mother, epitomize the suffering you young people have been enduring for the last two decades, both directly and indirectly, when our parents are shackled also and in prison and in some instances killed. Your desire to keep fighting despite the odds is a testament of your patriotism and selfless love for country. Your love for our heroes who perish and sacrifice everything now presents us all Gone. This new dawn we now call the New Gambia, a gift of hope set to start after January 18th. Despite all the odds, look what you've done. Some of the youths have been blessed to collaborate with and work with have mobilized young people across the country. Some of you young people have paid for young, other young people who have their voters card. I, I was blessed to work with you young people when we did this. You did this. 
This is your victory. So despite all the odds, you've made it. During the process, some of you had legitimate doubts as you questioned, who do we vote for? You said this to us. The opposition are not united. Yet you still persevere and you manage to encourage the opposition to unite. These achievements were only possible through collaborative efforts with youths inside the country and outside the country. Young people that you see here. Some of the diaspora youths went into Gambia, even embarked on Sikir to Sikir, door to door campaign. This is what you young people have done. All this you did for love of country. Like our new leader said, you fought very hard for this victory. You fought very hard for this victory. My main message is that involvement in politics is the only way to avoid the type of self-perpetuating and callous leadership we have endured for the last 23 years. Now is not the time for us to go into hiding. Now is the time for us to take our rightful place in shaping the country we want to live in. I want to commend the Gambian youth and the coalition in their recently concluded youth convergence. And I want to say this is exactly what we need to ensure that youth have more opportunities to develop and grow. I have a few pointers on some of our challenges. You, as a young person, can vote for a president at the age of 18, yet you can only run for the same position at around 35. This technically means that youths are not allowed to run for office in the Gambia. I hope young people are, are being aware of this. The current electoral laws insist that you become also a millionaire to register your party, run for official position, and implement a campaign. <laughs> the Gambia is one of the most expensive countries to engage in politics. This begs the question, why are youth so marginalized in Gambian politics? We need to go and take it, young people. It's never gonna be given to us. Our last paragraph now, I know we've been waiting. <laughs> I'm a strong advocate for a bottom-up approach and walking your way up from local government through parliamentary, through to the pinnacle. Presidents, why not? We can do it, young people. However, every so often, a unique opportunity presents itself, such as a young Adam Abaro. So what happens then? Should Gambians be denied an exceptional young talent because of our current laws which restrict youths from running for office? These are issues which I anticipate will be ad addressed via the Not Too Young to Run campaign, which will be taking shape with Gambian youths and it will be coming, it will be happening. So watch out for the Not Too Young to Run campaign. So the revolution is happening as we speak and it's time you young people, if you're watching this share, get involved. Handouts, no more. They will never be enough. Why do we need to crawl under any table of any political leader to ask to gather crumbs? No more. We're not asking for crumbs anymore. Fight for your place on the table with respect and humility. You fought and you know how much you sacrifice. I urge you to guard your newfound freedom selfishly cultivate it, nurture it, and pass it on proudly to the next generation of Gambians. Pass it on. This will only be possible, this will only be possible when you Gambian youths decide to go and take it over the next three years. Gambian youths, go and take it. Make this three years a year of change. A year where we'd smash all these rules that hold us back. It's time for us to go and take it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, well done, well done, well done. Well done. <coughs> Thank you. Can we hear from my women folk? No, 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 I can't talk. We can't just let the men um, have all the speeches, ladies. I can't, I can't. No, I can't speak all of
what, what, what language do you want to speak? Whatever language you want. I can speak any language, but I'm not like. Just speak. 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 Just
those jobs that you are doing, the religious that we practice, we can only do them in a peaceful atmosphere. If there is any civil unrest, forget about what position you hold, forget about what material or belonging you have. If you've got no freedom in your country, you are reduced to nothing. Yaya Jame has stayed for 22 good years. It is time for him to step down and leave that country in a peaceful manner. The question whether he will go or not, that is not a question that one should ask. Yaya Jame must go and he must go. Our point here today is to give a message to everybody, much more to you, the ministry around Yaya Jame, to make it as a quick deal for us and then push this man to know that Gambia is bigger than him. His personal interest cannot put that into that cannot push that country into any civil unrest. He should put Gambia for what he should respect the verdict of the people and this must have to stand. We have the support of the overwhelming majority of the Gambian and the world at large. Tell your boss Gambians do not want him any longer. He need to step down. Those of you I spoke to, Gambian people's verdict must have to be put forward and it has to be respected. This must have to be done. Either Jame wants it or not. His term ends on the 18th of uh, January 2017. By midnight, um, 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 19 January, I urge those of you who are still undecided what to do, I want you to put your arms quietly and move out in the midst of people. Go home, sit down there. When we are swearing our president for, for, for the third republic, join that board, be on that board. Because being defiant, you are only causing yourself a trouble because Jame will never rule Gambia again. This is what I have, you know, to tell you. And then I'll keep engaging you up to the very day. I will never be tired unless and until Jame leaves that high office. Thank you so much. Thank you. Jame must go. 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 So what language are you going to speak in? Um, my wallet is not good. Let me speak Mandinka. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, Barry Mandinkolu. So, I'm telling you that I'm going to be in the opposite Gambian embassy. Um, not only just a short message, because yeah, I'm going to be in the middle of the already. So, Gambian only had decided, Gambian only had to go to the so I hope my family. So I'm more to the Yeah, I'm going to be careful. So Gambia has decided. So yeah, when we blow more, I tap. More than any military intervention on the bank of Ghana. We have to move the Finnish manjang because left side I come in all like my family. Come in all the affairs. So I'm more than that. Enough is enough. Sign G. Yeta. You more love Banco Bla in peace. Yeah, yeah. Gambia is peace long. Kabring. Hani na independent from Nasuto in peace le. Gambia na na man kila kulong. Yeah, yeah. So I'm I I feel the more love Banco Kang. I ta. Akana kila na na more love Banco Kang. Adun farang be to go tangla janga. Message me di sojaro la farang. So after sojaro me farang bije albe jamme ko makido watel bulo. Allah long ko nal sonta fo jamme al disi falta da fae mo le bango samba kelo kon atel bebe lu sala do gola because there won't be so so there sonta patanke adun mine mena so la wala united nation will take over any ecowas so a friend a lu sala do gola jamme o yala family bondi jele we na flo so la menke la la family le atel le tal la je Allah family sol france involve no o kelo ni kono ni o jela adun atel so jolo france la fa al sala la fi no je Adun sojero sojer tata ala side. Hani after kelo isi ko isi charge no for treason lad. So ala la main news ala ala stick ala loyal to the country. Baru January 18, kobe kela la commander in chief 
so ala la other stuff from him ali boyan ya ya montra jena me ki ala own self interest ala own interest because gamen ol ya file kabra kabra de fonar fon kabra de so so ni accept ni um ay si rectification no min ke a fon ay wolof ako baro ya dang 18000 la so already at the fon ay so so ni fon da ni ay si kana ka rectify so say wo kuma ko ni ngenda futa mo be mole so wo ya ya ba be tani la go eta ta ya ya ta 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 ta ya ya Mo mo la pila, mo mo la pila, mo mo la pila. But I'm free. I'm free. We are in Moscow. Moscow. That's it. Let's step down. Simple. Okay. Very simple. Yeah, yeah. We're still the president until the 18th. Yes. We have to respect that. Yes. After the 18th, we can call him an illegal government. But for now, he's the president. Yes. So, but above all, I think he should step down by the 18th. Okay. That's all I have to say. Thank you. All right. The military have suffered a lot under the current regime. Yeah. Yeah. November 13th. Nobody needs to tell you what happened. One thing that I just want to say and remind you, after January 18th, you are a rebel. If you follow Yaya Jami after the February, January 18th, you are now a rebel. One last message is, be on the right side of history. <coughs> For the last 23 years, certainly you were not in the right side of history. This is your opportunity to stand and be on the right side of history. Thank you. That's all I'll say today. Thank, Thank you. you. Are you Lamin Brame? No, 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 no. Okay. Does anyone here call Lamin Brame? Someone's asking if there's a Lamin Brame. If it's not that Lamin. No, no. Lamin hasn't made a speech yet. Maybe Lamin Jamie. Jola, Jola. No, Lamin Jamie. We need to hear from Lamin now. No, he made his speech in Fatima and Kunda. Proud of you. That was relaying the message. Now you can make a speech. In terms of today. Okay. Yeah. Yalan. Ah, Yalan. Okay. Yeah, Jamie. Lamin's making a speech. Lamin. Yeah, Jamie. Yeah, Jamie. Step down. The message is simple and clear. The government people back home elected him out. Let him take it as a man and step down and not create any sort of situation to um, annul the election as he intends to do. That would be very wrong and uh, let him know that he is on the wrong side of history. And the soldiers behind him have the arms. I call on all of them to respect the bodies of the Gambian people and, the, and defend the national flag at any cost. Um, it's a moral issue to support the truth. And the truth we all know in this case is that Barrow won the election on the 1st of December. Um, beyond the 18th of January, yeah, yeah, should not be in the office. Yeah. Let him just concede okay. defeat and we can bring Gambia, you know, um, in the same kind of peaceful atmosphere Gambians are known for across the world um, to develop the country. He has tried his best to take us to where he has taken us to. So another person should just take over from him and continue. You're being very generous. <laughs> <Too bad. laughs> You're from Macy. <laughs> I think, you know, it's the same message over and over, over and over, over again. Yeah. You know, he has, yeah. uh, he's just listen, 
you know, sort of intelligent leadership is about listening to people that you lead and what they say, you know. And what they want. And what they want, you do and say what they want. And that's all. I thank you very much for coming here today. Oh, you want to come here? Come on, um, come this line. <laughs> we hope to present a petition <laughs> to the European High Commissioner on the 4th of January. Yeah. January. <laughs> um, Nigerian Embassy, I'm talking about. We hope to present a petition to the Nigerian High Commissioner for onward transmission to President Buhari about the conduct of the current Chief Justice of Gambia, who happens to be a Nigerian, and the clandestine uh, African Bar Association, purportedly, who were said to have come largely from Port, ha Port Harcourt in Nigeria. <laughs> um, I think that's all. We are doing what we can do to um, turn the corners around let us have a peaceful transition of government in the interest of all Gambians. <coughs> we are not here representing the coalition or APRC or UDP. We are here to represent Gambia. It's <laughs> for Gambia. At the end of the day, you know, people have said this over and over and over again. Gambia is bigger than all of us. Absolutely. At the end of the day, the interest of Gambia is supreme, so it's the interest of Gambia we are defending. Yeah, let her just listen and step down peacefully. Thank you. Did you want to make a statement? Did you want to make a place to? So, what's the news? Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me, let me tell you how I'm going to sell out. Okay, one more from our. One more from our. Okay, I'm being accused of being a sellout. I am not a sellout. Flex down, stop it. Um, basically, I think everyone have, have really said it. It's, it's just the same message that everyone has come out to say. People in the diaspora, um, Gambians in the Gambia. I mean, my head tie off to you, people. All sorts of groups of Gambians have come out and made statements um, and condemned the IAS, um, 9th December I would like to really thank people in the Gambia for the calmness and, and the mature way that they've dealt with this. I think we all know if this was to happen in any other country, there would have been war at the moment. So we thank you. We are out on the streets, but that's because that's the only way we can add our voice. We respect what you're doing. Carry on doing what you're doing. Get on with your daily business. If there are any more organizations that haven't come out, I've not heard from the Gambia Students' Union, for instance. Any other organizations that hasn't come out, the Yai Compins, I think the Yai Compins have huge political um, power in the Gambia. Come out, make statements, engage Jame. My personal appeal really is to any single person who has contact with Jame, please engage him. Be it Zainab, be it Yaya's mother, be it the ministers, be it just any single Gambian or non-Gambian who has contact with Jame, please use it to the greater good. Please engage Jaya and ask him to step down. I, you know, I really also want to just ask people to, to call up hold of the insults. I know everyone's upset, but I don't think it really adds a lot of value. I think um, I think there's so much to sort out. I think there's so much to sort out, but I don't think insulting helps. Um, I absolutely understand the upset. I'm quite upset myself. That's just why I'm out on the streets. I'm not in any political party. I haven't been political politically engaged for years. I used to be many years ago, but I came out within 48 hours printing banners and screaming because I'm enraged by what Jami has done. And that's the reason why all these people are out here today. A lot of other people wanted to come and they couldn't make it because of work and childcare and other commitments. 
We know you're all on Facebook watching. Thank you. We appreciate you. Um, but really, just to ask people to, to take time and think. And I really think, I know some of my colleagues here disagree with this, but I think we need to seriously consider giving Jame an exit strategy. It's not for me to suggest what that would be. The coalition government, they have my full respect as an individual. I'm sure they have the full confidence of, of a lot of Gambians. I think they know what the right thing to do is. And personally, if it means them giving Jame amnesty, I would have no qualms about that. Because I would rather, I know Flex disagrees, I would rather that than see the Gambia um, burning. I would rather see See Jamis go away free, then watch the TV and see the Gambia up in flames. I do not want to see journalists with the Gambia behind them with flames and bombs exploding. Nobody wants that people. Uh, so I think we should think. I mean, that it's not for me to say that everyone is entitled to their views. I, I love democracy. Everyone can say what they believe in. My personal view is that we should leave it with the coalition to try and engage Jame and come up with some sort of exit strategy that doesn't involve military action. If it does come to military action, guys, if it's the absolutely ultimate um, way out, I would support it. But of course, like most people have said, they all want that to be included. That's it. Thank you all very much. It's been a very cold day. Jame must go. 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 Thank you all very much for watching. Um, it's been a really, really cold day, but you know, we have persevered and stayed in the cold. And um, Madame Ambassador have received our petition, which she will forward on to Yaya and his government. Um, we thank you and we'll, we'll give you updates. The next term, um, and here's Lamin Jame, he's been really, he's been more than brilliant in setting everything up. Well. Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you all and we'll, we'll keep you posted. Bye.